So, welcome. This is a uh, let's play of The Surge 2. We have like had a little preview of the starting area before. Um, in fact, I've had two. I'm just going to delete these two. And start going with a fresh uh, save file. What if <coughs> machines were pure? A basic universal concept without morals or destiny. Yet because they are created by humans, inheriting all their countless imperfections, how could machines ever be better than us? Would they not, by design, follow the path of their creators and, in the end, fail? So, <clears throat> there's quite a few character creation options here. But I'm not going to go too far into it, maybe... So we have a Mining Wars Veteran, Search and Rescue Officer. Creo certified heavy operator, Creo certified field technician, former arms smuggler, and corporate middle manager. So I'm assuming these won't have any impact on the story whatsoever. These are just there. Uh, then character logic could be to give it a bit more of an RPG element. So, we could be a, a mining horse veteran. Some random. what this guy will do. Uh, change the outfit. Okay, I guess we're rocking the full blue. <coughs> Two months later. Medical report TS1. My new patient has been in a semi-delirious state for weeks. The subject seems to be reliving traumatic memories of Flight 221. A girl. With some sort of anomaly. It's not over. But this can't be true. There was only one survivor in the crash.
Okay. <clears throat> so we have been involved in a plane crash, and that is all we know so far. Uh, salvage keycard medical staff. <clears throat> So I played through uh, Surge One, but that was around the time it came out. So that was quite a f that was a few years ago. Look around. <laughs> Let's not do inverted. Um, okay, so there's nothing else in here. Target lock R3 and heavy and <coughs> light attacks and block. Surrender now. Report number TS2. The patient you brought me some weeks ago is still in coma. Cannot determine if he's infected. Sirs, I am just level one doctor in a police detention facility. But I do not recommend transfer. Not yet. hard to see in this area. Um done the done the targeting before. A block B. So for some reason I was in a plane crash and then woke up in a prison medical center. So we've got another health station here, which we don't need just yet. Fresh meat. Well, this guy's throwing bricks. Here. So I can't remember too much of the story from the first one. So it's almost you, like a fresh experience. Please, you gotta let me out. I'm not a criminal, just an average Joe. Got a bit of a bit of a cough going on today. I'll try and keep as much as that out of the commentary as I can. Oh, so that unlocks that door. What I'm assuming it is to uh, just go yeah back to where I came in. Don't need to worry about that. Alright, 
big boy. Let's go. It's <laughs> not a good start. Oh, we got block. It's not letting me die. For sure, should have been dead right now. to redeem your customized MG Exo Rig Mark 12. Surgery is a thing of the past. The new MG is faster, more powerful, and sleeker than ever. Once you strap it on, it'll meld with your molecules in a flash. The metamorphosis is so seamless, you'll neither know nor care which functions are still performed by your own body. Let MG take control of your nervous system and take back control of your life. Welcome, Officer Johnson. Rig installation in progress. There, uh, the power core module. So I use tech, tech scraps to level up and get module points. Distribution among the following stats. So health, vision, survivability, stamina, let's put for more actions and battery um, <clears throat> so while we're fighting we charge battery let's cut off limbs and use implants oh, okay so we have a few a few scrubs at the minute so let's put some of those in that gives us enough for a level um so we've got two points available straight away. I'm probably just going to throw in stamina to start off with. Um. Right, okay. Yeah, we've got our gear window. We've got nothing else to that we can equip yet. Uh, implants. Yeah, implants are special, special items that can be put into the corresponding implant slot of your rig. <coughs> Each implant consumes a portion of your total core power and grants special effects or new abilities. Yeah. So we currently have a uh, medieval vault. Old tech injection. Yeah, injectable uses one battery to restore health and knee health observer. Displays the health and stability bars of the blocked enemy. Okay, so we've got that mugs we've seen. Okay. Rig installation complete. That's where we're good to go. But apparently we were unable to jump before. Have a nice day, officer. And run. So this has enabled us to do that now. Okay. We're on in right arm. Um, hopefully, get that weapon. I'm gonna equip this straight away because I do like this weapon. Let's open up this door.
Okay, so we got this last time and I tried this out a few times, but I wasn't really getting the hang of this directional block. So one thing with my videos, they're going to contain quite a bit of uh, backtracking. Find a rig to get me out. Um, just because I like exploring games, I like finding out like secret areas and stuff and just uh, making the most of it. Getting like full enjoyment out of a game for me is not to quickly get to the end but to explore the whole environment. Uh, Yes, there's, there's going to be quite a bit of exploration involved. Shit. Thank you. I was beginning to lose hope. I'd love to repay you, but as you might guess, I'm a bit broke right now. I hope I'll see you again. Vinberg never leaves a debt unpaid. You heard about Frio, right? Well, I was there. Damn government dudes came. Thought I was finally safe, but they wouldn't let me go, even after I told them all about what happened. I heard there's an evacuation camp in the city, Gateway Bravo or something. Gonna try my luck there. I always wanted to be a search and rescue guy. Maybe we'll see each other around. Something like a power surge went through the whole system. Melted circuits and brains alike. And the whole damn factory tore itself apart. I lost my whole team in there. Even Smith. But this time, I swear I'll keep people safe. No, damn it, I'm not okay. Haven't been okay in weeks. People are killing each other for scraps out there. It's complete anarchy. I can only pray we make it out in one piece. But even if we do, I have no idea what's waiting for us. Something like a power surge when I lost my... Come to the evac camp. I'll be there. So, we've obtained his key card. Oh, you see the buttons there. So, you play, I've, you, know, you play so many of these games, it kind of like... Yeah, they've got their own, like, button setups. This one's... Um, just a little bit different. Need to get back into that. charged hey, after that attack let's get some health back let's see what's in here Okay, that was pointless. I've just literally just got rid of the cycle.
<coughs> but if you haven't played or seen this before, then this whole uh, game is. Uh, it's all around uh, <coughs> it all evolves around our exosuits and uh, stuff like weapons that we obtain and new armor pieces um, I'm the favorite with square okay so we can mark some weapons as favorites and switch between them that's pretty cool I think I might do that right now. Are these all... Okay, so they're all marked as favourites already. Um, yeah, so let's do with your exosuit. So if we wanted to upgrade a certain part of our exosuit, we would target the enemy's uh, limb that we want to upgrade. Same with the weapons. If they're holding a weapon that we want, we would target the, the hand that's holding the weapon and try and cut that off. And then hopefully we should get the weapon or plans for that weapon. Um, so we've currently got four slots for implants. Implants are like uh, just abilities that we can uh, give to our character. And we level up our, our suit to gain more slots. <sighs> okay. Carrot, I could do with a little bit of a... Let's try and stop doing that, that little jump. Trying to run, but I'm pressing the, the jump button instead, so to run on this we hold in X. Okay, so he's got a weapon in his right arm. Let's try and get this. Can, uh, swap uh, mid fight to the weapon that I want. I'm not gonna use it, so I'm not a big fan of big chunky Coming weapons. Right Are you Take your basic maneuvers. Shit! Um, I actually like these. This weapon, I might better this for a bit. I think around here. So I'm just gonna it's head. <coughs> cool weapons you already have together crafting materials. So you see like the last one I cut off in that other room we got a, a material from it. We already have the weapon. Some scraps. So scraps are like you know your souls kind of thing. You gain scraps to level up, and well, it's just it's the major currency. So we use it for um, upgrading weapons and stuff as well. This was a very helpful implant, implant that we just got. 
and we're coming up to our first boss here. I don't want to be switching to that. Um. <coughs> this one's an automatic inject charger. Uh, so with this one, as we gain like battery from attacking a target, um, it will store a full bar into our uh, health injector. I'm dreading fighting that. Yeah. It's not the crystal. Um, not the best first try. Okay, so that was. Have a nice day, officer. So when we die, we get our uh, we get a timer. So we've got a limit before we can pick up our scraps again that we have collected. But when we do, we can get a full uh, full health recharge. We can use that to our advantage, especially uh, if we're in a boss fight. I'm just gonna leave them for now. This one's going a, a lot better. So I'm just going to move this off to his right arm. Oh no. Hopefully I've got... ...to... ...did have enough to chop it off. Shame. But... Just pick these up, we can get full health. In action, assigning free gen. to nearby police exo rig. Yeah, so we could have got a new weapon there, but we missed the opportunity for it. I think I might have to change the buttons on this because just uh, keep pressing uh, jump when I'm trying to run. Excuse me, can I get my toy, please? 
Oh, right. Sorry. I'm Athena. Athena Gutenberg. So we also um, dropped a drone. Which we can use to take out targets from afar. cells represent the ammunition for most of your drone modules. Okay. So we can only acquire a certain amount, but we can overfill and these overfilled units go back to our bank. Whenever we um, go back to like restore or level up, it will automatically refill our ammunition. Uh, I'm just wondering if there's if there's a more uh, but I'll just leave it how it is. I'll, uh, I'll figure it out as I go ahead. Hello! Can you hear me? Well done! The lift should work again! Can you hear me? Of the lift after all. At last we meet in the flesh. There's a fire burning in your eyes, Acolyte. I haven't seen anything like it in a long time. The city is dying. The court is our last safe haven. Join my brethren and take back control. It's now or never. I can see your confusion. You must have been locked away for a long time. You'll be in for a rude awakening. The world has changed in a heartbeat. I'd explain more, but it's best to witness the new order with your own eyes. I belong to the Children of the Spark, a small but growing church dedicated to a great cause. We're always on the lookout for recruits like yourself. Someone willing to get their hands dirty for the greater good. Journey forth and find the court, where our prophet, Brother Eli, will welcome you with open arms. See that giant octopus? Right under its tentacles, you'll find safe shelter. You must have been in there for a very long time indeed. You'll see the awful truth soon enough. Anarchy reigns supreme on our streets. People fear the new dawn that's upon us. The government built a wall around us to hold back the inevitable. They reject the change that comes with the nanite swarm. This plague is not what it seems. Humanity is ascending. We are the progenitors of a new race. You're staring at Jericho City, Acolyte. At least what's left of it. Brother Eli will reveal your destiny. Okay. <clears throat> That's our first destination. What the hell is that? Okay. So, judging by that last, uh, well, for the, by the first boss encounter, I've kind of, like, uh, picked the weapon I want to use. So I think we might be just going for like a medium 
weapon type. But I do believe like these are fast knuckles. Uh, the spear. So yeah, like I was having problems with the f spear of the first round. Like, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I wasn't getting enough damage off to charge my battery up. So having some issues with that. So I'll stick to this one. Oh, I do like the fists. Maybe we can sort of drop up some fists later on, but I'll stick with the one-handed sword for now. Um, right, we've made it to our first med bay, so I am going to leave it here for now. Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna leave it here and. Thank you guys for, for watching the video. If you would, uh, like, I mean, I'm going to try and get these videos out as, as much as possible, uh, which will probably be, um, probably like three videos a week, maybe, hopefully. But I mean, let me know in the comments or try and uh, or give this video a like. And if there's some positive feedback, then I might try and up that amount per week. But once again, thanks for watching and hopefully see you guys. See you guys soon. Take care. Bye.